Hello, this is Mark Denham, radio presenter, audio producer, podcaster and voiceover artist. And the audio journey continues as we're on to part 32 now, still on compression. And we've looked at the introductions and basics of compression. We've made a news demo. We've gone through how to compress a podcast today. We're looking at radio imaging. Before we actually look at that, though, I just want to show you, if you look at the screen, you can see I have recorded the same voiceover twice in my screen. And here it is. The number one hit music station. There and there. The number one hit music station. And you can hear the difference. The only difference in that is uh, when I recorded this one here, I had compression set on my DBX286S. If you have one of those or indeed any microphone uh, processor, preamp and processor, then you will probably have a compression setting on it. I normally have the compression on for everything I do, except for the podcast. I will turn the compression off when I'm recording the podcast. On the left, the highlighted one is recorded through the DBX286S with the processor on and the compression on. The one on the right is recorded with exactly the same setting on the mixer. No uh, change of the, uh, the volume fader for the microphone, no change of the gain. However, you can see that this one here has much more dynamic range in it because it's not compressed at source. When you come to process your audio, if you are using a, uh, a processor like I am, you'll find a lot less work needs to be done because on your processor, you can set your compression, you can set your de you can set a noise gate expander, and there's also uh, an enhancer, as it's called, on the DBX286S, where you can set your low and your high frequency. It leaves you a lot less to do. And you can see here, in terms of compression, if you were recording straight into your mixer or straight into your interface without going through a processor, you would have a, uh, a voice that looks something like this that is far less compressed. If you are, then you can set your compressor. You can see there's still dynamic range in there, but nowhere near as much. Now, we're going to look at making uh, radio imaging today. So a new multi-track session. Don't need to name it. We're not saving it. Template, none. Don't need a template. And then we'll drag this in here and we will get rid of the second one because we don't need it. It's the same voiceover. And it's the same voiceover that it would help if I turned up the mixer so you can hear it. The number one hit music station on FM, on DAB, online and on mobile. This is Mark FM. Now you can hear that that's already fairly well compressed. I'm just going to boost the uh, amplitude a little bit there down the bottom of the left of your multi-track clip means that you can turn up the volume. Doesn't make any difference in the clip itself. If we go back to the original file, you can see it's exactly the same, but we have boosted its volume now in the multi-track. The number one hit music station. Now, if you're just doing a dry sweeper, that may very well be fine, but you can still add a little bit of compression to it without going overboard. But I am going to show you something in a moment as well that you have to be very, very wary of. So again, we'll just stick with what we've used elsewhere and you can see now. The number one hit music station on FM, on DAB, online and on mobile. This is Mark FM. You can see there that there's very little difference between the uh, the low parts and the quiet parts. If you were to go crazy with this and crank up the cam the compression, firstly it'll be quieter. The number one hit music station on FM, on DAB, online, and on mobile. This is Mark FM, and you can hear there. There's a real kick in that now. That's just a little bit too much, I think here. So let's just go five to one. A happy medium here. The number one hit music station. There you go. Now, if we were to add in, uh, we're just going to drag that out a little bit here. We're going to here and this one will probably do. We'll drag that in. So we've got some uh, some sound effects in there as well. The number one hit music station. And you can hear straight away that you cannot now hear the, uh, the voice at all. Uh, so let's just move that over so that comes in. On FM, on the AV. Mobile, and then we just want to let's just chop this up here, and we will have a little chop there. And I just want to drag that along. So, uh, actually, maybe I won't use that bit, maybe I'll use that bit there instead. How about that? Okay, so there is our very, very basic radio sweeper. All right, but now you can't hear the volume. 
the number one hit music station on FM, on DAB, online and on mobile. This is Mark FM. Sweepers need a lot more work on them in terms of the fact that this one here just ends drastically. Uh, it does end drastically. Let me drag that back in again and we'll see whether we could perhaps use this bit here. If we use that and we take that over there like that. Uh, I realise that this is obviously not part of the uh, the compression thing, but I'm just trying to make this sound a little bit better than it actually does. So what we'll then do is we'll drag that over. So it kind of need that shorter, and then that can just kind of, oh, what am I doing? That can just kind of end there, and then this bit here, that we don't really need, we'll tuck it away in there. And then we have the number one hit music station on FM, on DAB, online and on mobile. This is Mark FM. Now, the first thing you can do here to try and sort this out, you can right-click all of your clips, match clip loudness, and then everything will be starting at the same volume. The number one hit music station on FM, on DAB, online and on mobile. This is Mark FM. Now, in terms of this, it's still not really that audible, is it? The uh, the volume of the uh, the voice. So what we're going to do is we're going to go in there and we are going to boost up the output gain as well and add a bit more compression. The number one hit music station. And you can hear now it's more audible. It's still not audible enough. It is more audible. One other thing you can do uh, if you do have uh, any of the... Um, if you have any of the uh, the Waves plugins here, is you can add in uh, plugins as well, third-party plugins, which will help you out with this. And um, there are plenty of those in there as well. But I'm just looking here at the, uh, the native uh, audition effects. If you look also at track one, you could use here a very, very light multi-band compression. So you don't want it to be too heavy because then it's just going to be far, far, far too much when it actually gets to air. So let's have a listen. The number one hit music station on FM, on DAB, online and on mobile. This is Mark FM. Another thing you could do is you could use the essential sound panel to bring down the uh, the volume of your clips and duck them compared to the actual audio. How would you do that? Well, we'll get rid of metadata window for now. And we will open the Essential Sound window. And what we'll do is we will click that as dialogue and we will have that as uh, sound effects here. And you can see here that this is uh, already the number one hit music station on FM, on DAB, online and on mobile. Now, that's not really done very much, has it? So what we'll do is we'll clear the audio type from those. And if we set them as music, you can duck now uh, against the um, against the music. So if we bring this down to as low as it'll go, you can see now these lines here are showing exactly how the ducking is going, and you'll be able to hear that voice much more clearly. The number one hit music station on FM, on DAB, online and on mobile. This is Mark FM. Now, I wouldn't do it that way. I would use sidechain compression, which we've talked about before, uh, and I wouldn't do it using essential sound, but I'm just trying to get through this as quick as I can to show you the compression. Let's solo this one off and have a look. The number one hit music station on FM, on DAB, online and on mobile. This is Mark FM. Okay, so if we just want to go with a dry sweeper, let's say for now, we'll mix it down. And then you can see there, that's your mix down sweeper. The closest I can get in Adobe Audition to making this sound like it's on the radio is if we go in now and we apply the multiband compressor with the broadcast preset. The number one hit music station on FM, on DAB, online and on mobile. This is Mark FM. Doesn't sound too bad. You know, you imagine that's coming through your radio on your uh, in your car stereo on your DAB or whatever. Doesn't sound too bad. The one thing I wanted to warn you about now is over compressing. So let's say that I've mixed that down where in the multi-track I use light compression. Let's say that I've made a, uh, a mistake and I've mixed it down using multi-band compression. 
and I've sent it off to be played on the radio. So here it is. The number one hit music station. Heavily compressed, okay? Because I made a mistake and I mix it down with multiband compression instead in the multitrack. You then now imagine running that through the processor on the radio. The number one hit music station. And you can hear now the danger of over compression. Okay? So it's very important when you are mixing something that's going to go out on the radio, do not over compress it. With radio imaging, you can afford to be fairly flat because it is radio imaging. It's in your face. It's there. You're listening to the number one hit music station. It's there. It's in your face. And it's grabbing everyone's attention and say, hey, you're listening to this radio station. Equally, you don't want to over compress it. So it sounds horrible. And I'll be honest, I've heard things on radio stations that are over compressed before. And it does sound absolutely horrible. And you can just tell that it's over compressed. So please do be very, very, very careful when you are compressing that you don't over compress. You can afford to add in like we've done here. You can afford to add in, say, a single band compressor and a multi band compressor as long as you keep it light. If you go with the mm, broadcast preset here, then have a listen. The number one hit music station on FM, on DAB, online, and on mobile. That may very well sound very good in your ears now, but then when it goes through the further processing on the radio, and radios do have huge Optimod compressors with auto gains and compression and everything and limiters, on there, it's going to sound over compressed. So please, like, you know, do feel free to add compression to radio imaging, but do not over compress it. Otherwise, it's going to sound hideous. Now, if we take this back off and then we have a listen here. The number one hit music station. Let's turn off all of the processing on this now and listen to how timid that voice is in comparison. The number one hit music station on FM, on DAB, online and on mobile. This is Mark FM. Feel free to experiment as much as you like with your radio imaging. Add compression in. It's good. It makes it more in your face. And that's what radio imaging is, especially if you're producing for contemporary hit radio stations where it's like a lot of chart music and that the music itself will be compressed. That's the way things are produced now. So, yeah, add in some compression. But remember, leave room for the radio station compressing. It will go through an auto gain. It'll go through a compressor and it'll go through a limiter. And when this signal comes out of the radio, it'll be very, very flat line almost. And everything will be a completely unique volume. If you over compress when you are producing, it will sound horrible because then your extremely flat lined audio will then be boosted even further in compression and it will just sound horrible. So have lots of fun with your radio imaging. Add in compression if you like, but just don't go overboard. You can go much more overboard than you did with the news demo, with the podcast, that's fine. Don't go overboard though, because remember, radio is produced. Compression happens uh, as part of the broadcast chain for radio. When it leaves the desk, it goes into a huge compressor and then it goes out to the transmitter for FM, for DAB, or indeed for uh, streaming as well. So uh, make sure that you have lots and lots of fun. Don't go overboard. As always, if there are any questions, visit markdenham.com. You can read the whole blog on there, the whole Audio Journey blog series. We're up to episode 32. They're all on there. Uh, you can leave a, uh, a question on the contact by getting uh, the contact tab up on the website. You can send me an email and I will get back to you. If you're watching on YouTube, stick a comment down below and I'll answer it. And of course, if there's anything I can do for you, recording voiceover, recording DJ drops, podcast intros, podcast branding, or indeed producing anything for you, then uh, do get in touch via markdenham.com. Thank you for watching today. Hope it's been helpful. Go away and produce some amazing audio.